Hey guys, it's me, Marty, and welcome to Diamonds and Denim Tutorial Tuesday. So today I'm trying to make up for last year's Christmas tutorial fiasco by teaching you this Santa baby Christmas party look. So you'll see I have my Saint Santa hat because it's my favorite. Why wouldn't it be? Um, bright red lips, gold glittery festive eyeshadow. So if you want to see how I got this look, so this tutorial is focused more on the eyes and the lips. It's not really too much about the skin. If you do want a tutorial that shows you how I got my skin to look this way, let me know in the comment section below and I will uh, take care of that for you. Okay, people, so just like always, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in for this eye look. I'm sorry, but it is going to be a multi-palette look just because I wanted to make sure we got the exact right um, gold glittery Christmas party glam look that we want. So a Morphe Natural Glow or Nature Glow, whatever it was called, the um, 350M matte palette. So... This palette is really good because it's huge. Like if you can't find a transition in here, something is definitely wrong. So again, we're gonna do a bold lip, so we wanna keep the eyes light but still festive. So do an all over base. So I'm gonna do this kind of yellow honeyish color. This one right here. And I'm gonna do that one just from lid to uh, brow. So I'm gonna look here and I'm gonna, you could follow along on this eye and I'll do this one off camera, so. Just gonna go all the way from the lid, all the way to the lash. You can see my brows are already done. My eyes are already primed. Every, my face is primed, everything is primed. And now I'm just gonna start my eye look. So for our crease color, we are going to go with this, not crease, I'm sorry. For our transition color, we're gonna go with this brown right here in the middle of the top row. And you wanna keep your hand pretty light because Morphe is very pigmented. And you want to just make small circles and go from, I always say, because we're going to do a serious wing for this one, so you want to go to from your outer end point of your brow all the way to the inner corner of your brow. So just going back and forth, back and forth. We want our transition color again to be pretty light because we don't want to go heavy with this. This is going to be a very light eye look again. Kind of office party type deal. Like you don't want to be super crazy like your boss is there. You don't want to be a lunatic. But that's what, that's what this look is supposed to be. It's supposed to be fun, Christmassy, but light and um, celebrating, but not getting crazy. Like you don't want to be the drunk girl at the party. You don't want to be the one that's wa that walks in and is doing way too much. But you want to still be festive. This next brush is an I-N-M-O brush. I actually just reviewed it from my last um, Ipsy Glam Bag review. I'll link it down below so y'all can check that out if you haven't seen it yet. And for the crease color, we are going to go with, let's see, maybe, let's go with this brown, because it's pretty light. So we're gonna go with this one right here, just to put a little bit of definition in the crease. Again, we don't wanna go crazy with it, just a little tiny bit of definition. So just as, I'm, as I finish this one, I like how this one looks a little more, it's a little heavier, so I'm gonna put a little bit more on this side. Just a little tiny bit more, like right, yeah, right in the middle of my eyelid. Okay, so I'm going to use next the NYX Milk um, Jumbo Eye Pencil. Just, again, y'all already know I do it all the time to chisel out my lid, and that way my gold is really going to pop. Oh, that, that um, crease color came out really good. I really like it. And I'm just using the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette just to have a mirror because the Morphe doesn't have a mirror in it. So that's what that's about. So again, when I use the NYX Milk Pencil, I don't try to draw the exact shape of my eyelid because you're never going to get that right with this thick pencil. So I put enough color on it to spread it around and then I spread it into the shape I want. So you can see from my eyelids right now, it's certainly not a shape or anything. It's just like I just kind of threw some on there. Then I'm going to go in with a crease brush. This one is from Shani and I'm going to make it into the shape that I wanted, so. Because I have way more control over it like this than I do with the actual pencil itself, so. I'm going to just chisel out my lid. So, okay. I am not a makeup artist. I never claim to be a makeup artist, but I do have my degree in visual arts, so it's kind of like, it's almost like painting. Like you put enough on your palette and then you spread it with your paintbrush. You don't want to just take the tube and like squeeze it straight on there because it's never going to work. So, I mean, you can, depending on what kind of art you're trying to make. But for the most part, you don't want to do that, so. And y'all see how I dragged it out a little bit? It almost made a little like mini wing and we got to do a big wing tonight. So, because the main thing is going to be like a glam thing. Like we're going to have red lips, big wing, gold eyes, very festive, but I don't want to be too much. Like I can't say when people show up with like green eyelids, red lips, like that's a lot. Okay, so my base is done. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my next 
product. All right, so really before I um, do this, I wanna kinda show y'all a couple things. So first, this is my Ipsy palette. Like I, all of my stuff from Ipsy. You see, I just drew Ipsy on there in black and I just bought a magnetic palette. And then all of my little Ipsy samples that they sent, I put them all in here. And then on the back, I wrote the names of all of them so I can tell you exactly what I'm using. So on my lid today, I'm gonna use Ofra um, eyeshadow, um, Ofra Cosmetics eyeshadow in Gold Rush. So this Gold Rush color is like the prettiest, most pigmented, strong gold that I've ever used. Big color right here. That's what I'm gonna use. It's so good, like I love it. It's such a pretty color. It's very pigmented too. I'm just gonna press it on my eyelid. I remember the first time I wore this color, I kept saying it looked gilded, like gilded gold. Like it's really, really gorgeous. Super duper shiny. And the thing with it is, it's super shiny, but it's not like crazy bold, loud gold. Like if you walk in like this, I mean, it's pretty, but it's not crazy, you know? So just a thought. So again, all I did for with this gilded, I mean with this gilded, with this um, Gold Rush by Ofra Cosmetics eyeshadow is I, is I didn't like slide it on, I just patted it on because it's just such a shiny shimmer shade. And I just patted it on like that. Just kind of packed it in and then when I got to the part where it connects to my uh, transition color then I did a little line here just to make sure I'm keeping it in one spot so so the last part of our eye look tonight is this little tiny wet and wild glitter that I got I actually I think I bought it for either a ball or a New Year's Eve thing and I just want to use a little tiny bit just to get a little glitter right in the center so I'm gonna take my middle finger, see it's just a little tiny glitter thing and I'm just gonna pat it right in the middle. Just again to get a very extra little, a, a very little bit of extra glitter, just not, we don't wanna be crazy, we're not gonna do this to our whole eye, but just a little smidgen of glitter, never hurt nobody. And again, this is for a office Christmas party, so this is after hours. So this is not, I mean, I wouldn't suggest you wear that to Christmas mass if you're going to Christmas mass. We don't want glitter on our eyes for, for a church. That's a, that's a bit much. Okay, so for my under eye, I'm just going to go in with one of these browns. I don't even know which one. Let's say we go in with our transition brown. So this one right here. I'm going to just take that real quick. So much kick up. And I'm going to just line with my Vasanti brush I use all the time. I'm just going to go straight under. Just to give a little bit of color under the eye because this is like an eye heavy. So this tutorial, I'm just going to be focusing on the eyes and the lips because I don't want it to be too long, one, and two. Um, foundation and concealer, all that, we do that all the time. I don't think we need to do it tonight. So. Okay, so for my under eyeliner, y'all know I'm the queen of repurposing, so we need to talk about this. So this is the MAC Spiked Big Brow Pencil. I bought it a while back and I don't like it. it the, the pencil part is way too big to do your brows, to have any control over it. Okay, this is what it's supposed to be for the brows. How in the world, how could you use that as a as an eyebrow pencil? Because again, I really don't want it to be super dark. I just want a pretty light little, just some detail, not detail, definition in the eye. Oh, that's better. Just gives a little tiny bit of color. That's all I wanted. So we're going to do that. So I just drew it along the line and then I'm just smearing it out a little bit with the... Slanted eyeliner brush. Again, this one is from Shani. That came in the big scroll I have that I've been having forever. Um, and then this is the MAC Spiked Big Brow Pencil. Okay, so I forgot to press record, but what I'm doing is using the uh, NYX Gel Eyeliner in Jet Black. I am going in with my Japanese uh, Cat Eyeliner Brush, and I'm just trying to create a really pretty wing. because as I said to no one earlier, since it wasn't recording, I wanna get a big, pretty, like 60s style wing. What we're trying to do is Santa baby vibes. That's what I'm trying to get, the Santa baby. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So somebody could slip a sable under the tree, a faux sable. We don't kill animals in this house. Okay, so this is just the main part of it. We didn't do the wing yet, 
but I kind of wanted to show you how I do my wing anyway. So first I make my line and I make it pretty thick because um, I like a thick line. I just, I just do, that's just my vibe. And then I'm going to turn the brush. See how it's kind of slanted in one direction? I'm going to turn it like this. I'm going to dip it back in here and very simple. Now, the first time you do this, it's probably not going to work. It's just something you just got to learn with time. I'm going to take it. I'm going to like kind of extend the bottom lash line, but you just got to flick it. Like you don't want to just start, ooh, I'm just going to make a wing because it never comes out that way. So you're going to take it. Yeah. Slowly flick it up, just like that. So now you see where my wing is. Now I'm going to go back and connect it. gonna be so cute now I'm just gonna fill in the spots where it's kind of where you can still see my eye through it so I'm just gonna go back in and make sure that that's all filled in confession time that's the first time I've used this gel eyeliner so it came out really good though I really like this big old wing it's so pretty I'm gonna smudge out this section at the bottom in a second so that it blends into the brown a little bit more because I don't like how it's like almost an anime eyeliner. But this gel liner is the business though, y'all. Like, NYX, baby. So that's our kind of glam cat eye situation with this eyeliner. Let me do my other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so done with both eyes now. Again, I'm gonna go back to the bottom of my eye and just smudge it just a little tiny bit right here so that it looks more connected to the bottom. And my idea is it should kind of fade in with the, yeah, so it's kind of fading in with the brown and then we'll be good to go. Now we are done with the eye for now. We're gonna come back later, of course, and add some lashes. And yeah, we're gonna come back later and add some lashes. So I'm gonna go off camera to do the rest of my makeup and then we'll come back for lips. So be right back. Okay, people, so obviously I'm here mid-bake and I am going to do my lashes now. So again, this is a Christmas party look. So we're gonna go a little bit out there with the lashes. We want them to be really big and glamorous because again, we're doing a real glam look. So while I'm baking, I'm gonna go ahead and try to apply lashes with y'all. So, but I have to share this with y'all first before we even get started. This Ardell Wispy set, I ordered this on Black Friday and it was like $12 for all of these. I mean, look how many, like that's insane. There are how many lashes, 12 pairs of lashes in here. And the thing about them, what I really love about this set, they are all different. I cannot stand when they give you like 12 of the same lash. I understand they might not all need to be reusable or they might not all supposed to be reusable, but guess who's gonna use them again? This girl, I use them things until they break. So um, anyway, so I just wanted to share that because it was such a good deal at Ulta. I ordered them online and I was just really ecstatic about that because I'm always looking for lashes and I love wispies because they just look so much more natural than like mink lashes or other kind of lashes. Also, um, if you know of any like lash binder I could get from like, like I remember Tarte had one but it only had like space for like three or four lashes. If you know of a place where I could get some lash, a lash storage kit, Preferably the ones that have these little half circles on them so that I could keep them in order and keep them in check Because I just have so many lashes now. I'm starting to get more. I'm starting to get better with my lashes So I'm trying to find um, somewhere where I can keep them all because I'd like to keep them on the form so that they keep their shape But so let me go ahead and apply my uh, mascara. I always apply mascara first to my uh, lashes because I feel like it helps me be able to hold them up hold the fake ones up so I always do them first. I know some people do them like they put it on after to bind the real to the fake, but I don't, I don't know. I always find it easier to apply them if I do it that way. So I'm going to use the Tarte Maneater Mascara, which I love that little bottle. That little bottle is so cute. Oh, I might be running low because it is like super light. So I'm going to go ahead and again, roll at the bottom, wiggle to the top. Up. The faces we make when applying mascara are just insane. <laughs> All right, so we got our little baby regular, uh, regular um, lashes coated with mascara. My eyelashes are now, I wet them. Okay, so I always wet 
always curl wet lashes. I know some people don't because their eyelashes could get stuck. I personally don't care. I just feel like it holds a much better curl if I do the mascara first, then curl it. Again, I have seen people do it the other way, but that's just my vibe. I just like to have it done like that. I find they hold so much longer if you curl them wet. So do that at your own risk. Don't say, well, the, the diamonds and denim told me do it. Nope, I did not tell you do it. I'm telling you this is what I do. Now, if you decide to do it, that's on you. So I'm going to press pull up. I count to 20 and then pull them off. I don't know, like everybody has their own way of doing it. I like to count to 20. Yep, cool. All right, so I'm so excited to open these up. So a few things that I have learned in my horrible struggle to apply false lashes. It's been so many problems because once, I love this. See, it says Ardell Wispies and it says because one style is never enough. Why does no one else understand that? I'm kind of already leaning towards the double Wispies, which are these. They're, oh, I love this case. See, they gave me like a full case, so I don't even need them for this. This is gorgeous. So, so we're going to go with the double wispies for this one tonight. Okay, if you've never applied fake lashes, I actually just learned this like recently because I had so many problems applying them for so long. You want to take them off with a pair of tweezers. Now, somebody told me a long time ago that the longer, uh, the shorter lashes go on the inside. I don't know that that's true because sometimes lashes are cut different. Sometimes they're short on each side and then longer in the middle. It just kind of depends. So what I started doing, the best way I know how to do this is to hold your mirror below your eye, like below your face, and you gotta look down and then you should be able to see your lash line. And then you will just pop them right on like that. Got a lot better at it than I used to be, I'll tell you that much. So let's see if I need to trim them. I might not need to trim these, that's insane. Like I never don't need to trim them, that's crazy. I'm gonna pull these off and then I'm gonna put the adhesive on it and then I'm gonna stick it back on, so. Okay, so I know at this point, if you're like me and has watched like a thousand and one lash tutorials, um, I know that you've heard so many times to let the glue dry, like don't just put the glue straight on, on and put it on your eyes. So I'm not gonna go over that with y'all. I know you already know how to do this. So I'm probably better at it than I am. You could probably show me a lash tutorial because I'm still not great at it. So I'm using my duo glue, my duo adhesive. I'm gonna go over the band, which still has the sticky stuff from the actual um, package on it, but that's cool. I don't mind having extra security. I'm going to let this get a little tacky. Somebody told me the other day you wanna let them almost completely dry. That might be true, but it's it would be kind of difficult to do that because if you let it dry, what if you put it in the wrong spot and you have to redo it? Like. You're gonna wind up redoing your uh, glue and all that and it's gonna take forever and a day and I don't really wanna do that, so. Oh, again, going at the bottom. Okay, this is something I had a lot of issues with when I first started doing them. You wanna make sure that you put your lashes on your actual eye lid, not on the eyelashes, cause that's what I used to do. And then I'd be in the middle of talking about a tutorial and I'd notice, hey, my eyelashes are like, halfway to Houston like they are nowhere near my eye and it was insane and ridiculous so this is what our lashes should be looking like they look pretty good you want to look at them from each side to make sure that they're not coming up on either corner because that's something I always had an issue with too yeah okay cool so double wispies so pretty y'all I love I love these lashes so beautiful okay so lashes are done so I'm going to now go and brush off my bake and do a little highlight bronzer blush and then we're going to come back and do the lips together and then we'll be finished i'm so excited this one is coming out much better than last year's uh, christmas tutorial so i'll be right back okay people so i am just about done i have my favorite santa hat on yes it is a saint's hat because are you number one in your division i think so we are so anyway so i have my favorite santa hat on i got my whole look pretty much done got some earrings on Blinding highlights, courtesy of Kaite London. Yeah, Kaite London made this beautiful highlight. I forgot what it's called, but I can put it at the bottom. So, again, if you want a full tutorial on this, like from my skin and highlighters and contours and concealer and all that, if you want that, let me know in the comment comments below, and I'll do another one um, where we can, where I'll go step by step from primer to powder. If y'all want that, just let me know. So. To round out our look, our Christmas party look, I'm going to go with this Prestige Waterproof Lip Liner in 
what is it called true red and we are going to go with our melted matte liquid lipstick in lady ball so the reason i'm going with a matte lip is because our our eyeshadow and our highlight are so shiny i don't want to be like super glitter face like you know what i mean you don't want to do too much so i don't want to do a gloss for this i'm going to do um a uh, matte lip color tonight This is such a deep, rich red. Like, oh, uh, this Prestige line, their lip liners are uh, the bomb. And then, again, they are, these are waterproof, so like, you know. Now, I'm not overlining my lips. As I tell y'all every week, my lips are big enough, I don't need to overline them, but I am making the corners really sharp here at the top. just to make a pretty clean line. And then I'm gonna do it again here. And Lady Balls, I love that color because it's, um, it's not, uh, it's a really deep, pretty red. Like it's not super bright, like Kiss of Fire, I love it, but it's kind of bright. Kiss of Fire from those colors. Um, it's kind of bright, so I try not to use it. Like in this kind of look, I'd rather like a straight blue red. That one is almost like an orange pink red. So. Make sure it's dry. Okay, so people, this is our completed Santa Baby Christmas tutorial look. Um, it went a lot better than last year's tutorial, did it not? I mean, Head and shoulders better than last year's tutorial. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like this look. I hope you like our Santa Baby Christmas party look. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next week for Tutorial Tuesday here on Diamonds and Denim. Merry Christmas. Bye.